Let's learn how to find the area of rectangles and squares. All right, before we had learned about perimeter, which is the distance around a figure, so we label all of those unlabeled sides first, and then we go ahead and add those. So we're talking about going that distance around the figure, 6 plus 3 plus 6 plus 3, and those, all those are centimeters. That's 9 plus 9, which equals 18 centimeters. When we're talking about area, what we're doing is we're actually figuring out what is inside a figure. What's inside the figure. And then so when we're figuring out what's inside of that figure, what we're actually doing is this. We're actually taking and we're figuring out what's inside of that figure. And there's a formula for that. And that formula is area is equal to length times width. What we'll do is we'll actually copy that down. Let's use that first to go ahead and figure this out. So area is equal to length times width. Let me go ahead and erase those yellow lines that are in there and show you what this means. So this is 3 here going from left to right. So I'm going to go ahead and divide this. 1 and 2. You'll notice here I've got 1, 2, 3 parts there. Now up and down I have to divide this into 6. I think I can do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, if we counted up these number of squares that are here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then we have our answer for this area. Area is equal to 18 of those squares. And since this unit is centimeters, we'll call that square centimeters. Area is equal to 18 square centimeters. It would have been much easier just to multiply 6 by 3 to figure out what's inside of that figure, 6 times 3 being 18 square centimeters. We will need to show our work when we are figuring out that area. Let's look at this again on the next screen. This is the formula for figuring out area. And then so this is area equals length times width. Please take a moment to copy this down for yourself. Copy what's on the screen. So for area, it equals length times width. And then so if we had this rectangle here, and this is for the area of rectangles or squares, and the dimensions of the rectangle are 6 inches and 2 inches, then the length is 6 inches. So the length here, and this will be the width. So we multiply 6 times 2 and 6 inches times 2 inches to get 12 square inches. 12 square inches is our area. And this is what we'll write. Let me explain our label here when I said square inches. Next screen. All right, so we had this thing that's 12 square inches, and so it's square inches, that's what we say, that's why I'm putting it within quotes there. And then so the other ways that we can go ahead and write that are as follows, where we can write 12 square inches, where we can write it out completely. Now, don't get that confused with the perimeter. The perimeter of that figure would actually have been 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6, 8 plus 8, which is 16. And then so what students get confused on is the actual label. And then so this label is one of the most important things when you are trying to figure out area. And then so area is equal to 12 square inches. To use, so use that formula correctly. You must show your work also when you are figuring out that area. All right, so this here is a square where each side is length of 5 meters. Now, the perimeter is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, which equals 20 meters. Now, the area, the formula for the area is equal to length times width. The length is 5 meters. The width is 5 meters. And then so we'll go ahead and write that out. 
area, and you'll notice they put the A there to distinguish between the P for perimeter. Area is equal to 5 meters times 5 meters. 5 times 5 is 25. Now, what was the label again? 25 what? In this case, it's not going to be inches as before. It's going to be meters. And then it's not going to just be meters. It's going to be square meters. And so again, we can write it with the exponent there. M squared square meters. 25 square meters. If you're more comfortable writing it out, you can also write it out. Just abbreviate it square meters. So the measurement of areas in square units. It might help us to go ahead and look at another figure here, just so that we can go ahead and get an idea about why this is so. Now this figure here is made up of one by one by one by one um, blocks. And then so each of these blocks is a square. Each of these blocks is a square where it is that each of those sides is one. So the area of each of those squares is one times one, which equals one square unit. So if we looked at the area for this whole thing here, and we counted those number of squares, we actually have one, I don't want to write within it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six square units there. Let me just write out six square units to begin with. That's the area. And then show you again as to why. So each of those is one by one by one by one. So that's one, that's another one, and that's another one. Putting those all together, the width, the length there of this figure is three, and the width right here is one and one, which is two. So it's actually a three by two. So area equals three times two, which equals that six square units. All right, it's your turn. Go ahead and find the area here for this figure. Please go ahead and copy down the figure with the labels, copy down the formula, and use the formula to write out those things that you need to write out, the length times the width, to go ahead and find the area. Be very careful of how you label that area. Go ahead and hit pause. Solve that problem. All right, so our length technically is four inches and our width is six inches. They meet at a vertex so that even if you misordered them, you're still gonna end up with the same answer as long as you use those correct numbers, those ones that do meet at a vertex, where it is those, those sides come together. So four inches times six inches is 24 square inches. And then so you can write 24 square inches. Don't do this. I've seen students write this. This is not correct. That's actually 24 squared. Um, and then the, just the label is just inches. So this is the correct way to write it. Again, I would have accepted this as well. Square inches. Please also make sure you show your work and that you said area equals that 24 square inches. Area is very different than that perimeter, so do not get those two confused, though you do need to know how to figure out perimeter as well, where you show that work to be able to figure out perimeter. So that's 10 plus 10, which is 20 inches. Just that distance around, distance around, versus area, area is what's inside, what's inside. So hopefully you were able to figure that one out correctly. Let me give you one more example. Let's have you figure out the area of a square. All right, it is your turn to find the area of a square where each side is seven inches long. Please start with drawing out the square, labeling the sides, and then showing your work as you figure out that area. Hit pause. Okay, here is your square. 
7 inches for each side. Area formula is equal to, right, length times width. Hopefully you did that right. 7 times 7 then. Length, width. 7 times 7, which equals 49. 49 what? Square inches. I would have accepted this as a label as well. Remember, perimeter and area is very different. Area is what's inside. Perimeter was that distance around. That's also why the labels are different as well. So be very careful when you are figuring out the area and label it correctly as well. Showing that work. You know all about now figuring out area for rectangles and squares.